On our previous vlog, after experiencing the Pagsanhan Falls, we made a side trip to the famous Nagkarlan Underground Cemetery in Laguna. And this time, we are going to explore the new tourist attractions in Manila beginning at this newly restored pre-war Manila Metropolitan Theater known now as The Met. And before anything else, let me introduce myself. It's me again, the Wayner, your travel and lifestyle vlogger, giving you a list of your travel itineraries which you can truly enjoy. Also, don't forget to support this channel by subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Manila Metropolitan Theater was built in the 1930s as a replacement of the Teatro del Principe Alfonso XII which burned down in the 1870s located in now what we call Arroceros Forest Park. Manila Metropolitan Theater is a reminder of the architectural opulence of the bygone era of Manila, once known as the Paris of Asia until the city was ravished by war in the 1940s. Manila Metropolitan Theater, also now known as the Met, survived World War II unlike the many beautiful heritage buildings of its time that were totally destroyed and never rebuilt. The first cartoon film, which was Mickey Mouse, was aired in this theater and since then, the Met has become the home of Manila's finest operas and zarzuelas. After the 1990s, the Met was neglected with illegal settlers and rotting like fruit that was once the apple of the eye of the glitz and glam of Manila's high society and celebrities. In 2015, cleanup drive began and followed by restoration until it finally opened to the public in the middle of the pandemic, giving it a new life and restoring its glorious past. The man behind the architectural beauty of the Met is the late Juan Arellano, considered as one of the finest architects of his time and now a national artist. I remember always passing by this old dilapidated building during my childhood years with my mom going to Divisoria while riding Manila's famous jeepneys and I am grateful that finally I was able to step foot in this historic theater and in fact watch a free film as well.
The foam just ended and I couldn't contain myself but be amazed by its interiors just like being transported to old opera houses in Europe. The birds and mango design ceiling, old light fixtures, and the wall sculptures are truly remarkable showcasing the Philippines' national identity which is indeed truly world class. actually done uh, we've actually watched the this um, creation of Filipino uh, indie films you know so it was really nice because it actually showcased the different regions here in the Philippines so it started first with the uh, houses of uh, in Batanes and then followed by a different story about women because it's actually the uh, women's month it's March and uh, those are the things that was actually discussed during those short films. So what I really like about this uh, National Theater of the Philippines is that, of course, this is a very, uh, you know, a reminder of what we really have in terms of the um, structures that was um, left to decay for quite some time, you know. But it was renovated and now this, the Metropolitan Theater is uh, being used and properly being enjoyed by everyone, especially, of course, the new generation of Filipino. If you plan to visit Manila, don't forget to check out the Met. It's open to the public and free entrance. On our next vlog, we are going to explore another new tourist attraction in the heart, I mean in the lungs of Manila, the newly renovated Araceras Forest Park. So don't forget to like, comment, and please subscribe because here, if you're a tourist who likes heritage, then you're the winner.